Can you talk about getting your ducks in a row on a project at work? What about reaching for the low-hanging fruit first? It turns out that lingo like this is making millennials and Gen Z workers feel left out at the office. This is new research released by LinkedIn and Duolingo showing nearly half of workers and younger generations feel confused by workplace jargon and had made at least one mistake at work because they just didn't understand a phrase. Let's see what our panel thinks about all of this. Joining me now, media consultant and podcast host Jackie Jordan and author and attorney Jared Adams. Welcome both. And Jackie, we'll start with you. I mean, come on, is it really a different language or is it just part of being an educated worker? You got to learn the jargon. Does Jen's Z and millennials, they, they just need to learn, right? Ultimately, this is the silliest uh, LinkedIn survey I've ever heard of. And I'm so, you know, done with everybody's feelings, but it's part of inclusivity and diversity is generational differences. Uh, the TEDx speaker who spoke about TEDx uh, uh, and a publisher for Culture Shock surviving five generations in one workplace, every generation comes in with their own lingo. I remember the older generation using the word secretary, and I was like, oh, it's supposed to be assistant. And I myself am guilty of using the word Rolodex. And the younger generation thinks it's an ancient watch. And, and it is an ancient <laughs> word, but it's, it's not an ancient watch. That's so funny. I mean, Jarrett, Gen Z and millennials already accused um, by other generations of being too darn sensitive. Is this helping their case? Uh, I, I don't think so, but I'll say this. So I, I have a law firm and we have many interns who come in and, and we see that there is this communication gap, but that's not so different than what we deal with as kids with our parents. What I find is more telling is the phone is what is encouraging this communication gap. We text things, we hashtag emoji. We need to preserve the human interaction the same way we preserve extinct animals, rainforests. We need to talk and get together more. That's that's my suggestion. No, so you're, you're saying say fire emoji in person. Do you like that's fire? Don't 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 oh. teams it. Don't slack it to, to me. Um, Jackie, there is another survey. Uh, Australia's leading news site asked Gen Zers what drives them nuts about their boomer coworkers, and they got answers like this. They said using the reply all button too much. <laughs> Our floor director oh, is nodding. Well, because I probably don't want to be outed in, you know, in a group yeah. form. Yeah. I mean, and, and you know also, what? I remember having to uh, uh, grow in my in professionally mature and, and and deal with the sting of being exposed for potentially making a mistake. That's all part of workplace growth. Yeah. You don't come into the workplace with the, you know, instant wisdom, experience, and professionalism. You literally have to grow into it. Mm. And that's just part of workplace culture that I feel that the younger generation is expecting either too much of themselves or expecting too much leniency of the older generation to not kind of go through some sort of growing pain. And I asked my 13-year-old niece in preparation for this segment, I was like, well, what what, what, what language do you use? And she says, we say, don't be a, don't be a queen. Could you imagine if I said to somebody in the workplace, don't Yikes. be a queen? That's like an instant oh, trip to God. HR. Right. Like, just, just take yourself to HR as you're sending that, <laughs> that message. Um, but, you know, Jarrett, a lot of these changes that they were talking about in this survey, using the reply all button too much, um, calling when something could have been an email, asking questions that should have just been Googled, yeah. isn't this a positive thing, just common sense? Like, even if these are things associated with the boomer generation, these are good things for all of us to let go, no? Again, it, it is the, the, we have a blessing and a curse with the advancements of technology. Where the advancements of technology has made, you know, things come quicker, it has widened the gap between human interaction and communication. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've come out of a meeting, didn't understand what the boss was saying, and then caught someone at the water cooler who fully explained everything. And so it's just not as simple as sending an email and a text. We need to get together, folks. Humans need other humans, okay? Okay, and I added hear to you. that the last couple of years of the pandemic and yeah. the, you know, not working together did not help. Yeah. I mean, Jackie, at the end of the day, is it important to have age diversity in every workplace, or, or, does, or does it just lead, though, to breakdown in communication that can hurt productivity? I, I will tell you that I don't have the digital DNA code that the younger folks have, and they just move faster on computers than I do. But I have professional experience over time, and that's been garnered as wisdom that they don't have. So we do need each other in the workplace. I like that. You know, and panel, on the other hand, experts say that baby boomers are now entering into a position of power at work, uh, some of them apparently getting generous offers to keep them out of retirement as employers are struggling to make sure these positions stay filled. Uh, Jarrett, is retirement becoming less and less likely for this generation? 
No, I don't think it's becoming less and less likely. I think it's more that we need to focus on money management. Because again, with the advancements in technology, with apps, we have the younger generation acquiring wealth a lot faster than folks, you know, who are 42 and in that age group that I am in. So I think that it's, it's about managing the money, making sure that it lasts proper investments, because there are YouTubers, including a, a family member of mine, who is acquiring wealth with every view. And you just need to know what to do with that money. Yeah, I, I want to speak to this person. But, but Jackie, I want to ask you one more question. I think there's a glass half full, glass half empty way of looking at it. Because on the one hand, maybe boomers entering a position of power, their, their workplace trying to retain them. But also boomers reporting that they're staying at work past the age that they would want to retire just because they don't have enough savings to keep up with inflation. I mean, is this well, a future that all of us are looking at one day? I Well, I think we're all yeah. together in a collective of survival mode, especially with inflation going on. And, you know, we're watching a whole entire economy and industry shifting. So there's a lot of fear around that. And by the way, am I the oldest person in this conversation amongst the three of us right now? Because that's it. <laughs> that's not, I mean, that's let's, just, let's just say the wisest. Right <laughs> let's just say the wisest. Before we go, uh, Jared and Jackie, favorite, <laughs> favorite workplace slang that you don't want to die. Jared, you go first. Uh, look, I, I, listen, um, I'm okay with a conference uh, meeting, okay? I enjoy that. I want to see people. I'm telling you. Maybe I, I, don't know if that's, I don't know if that's a slang people. word or just saying that you like conferences. I think you're kind of alone there, but it's totally okay, Jackie. <laughs> Jackie. My 13 year old niece says I need to adopt the word slay when uh, something really good happens good. and I want to celebrate someone younger. That's great. That's great. Yeah. Jared Adams and Jackie Jordan, thank you both for your time. Appreciate it. Uh,